Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a haul video for you. I'll be going over some items I bought in January as well as a box of K-Beauty I received from Stalvana. Um, they sent this to me in exchange for my review, which I am actually very excited about. Um, I do enjoy K-Beauty, but my experience with um, K-Beauty brands is limited. So when they approached me, I just thought, what timing? I have been thinking about K-Beauty, both skincare and makeup. So um, I'll show you the contents in that box shortly. We'll first go over the items that I, I did haul in January. Um, most of these are luxury items and then I'm curious about drugstore as you guys uh, may know. So I do have some drugstore items in here. I had been putting off this haul video for two weeks now. Every time I was about to sit down and do a haul video, I thought, oh, I, I do have something else coming. I'm gonna wait, let me wait. Well, I've waited and waited and we're at the end of January. <laughs> so anything that doesn't make it into this video, um, I'll just talk about it in February. And the first items I got in January uh, that I wanna show you is, well, what a way to start the new year are from Chanel. I have here um, two of the Rouge Le, Le Lion lipsticks, and it's called Le Lion because uh, Gabrielle Chanel, her astrology sign is Leo, and so they took, basically they embossed a lion head um, at the oh, one end of the lipstick. So you click on it, or you push down on it, and this is like a deep beige shade. It might look a little similar to the lipstick I have on, but it's actually not, uh, this is something else that I'll be talking about in a few minutes here. And then I also have a bright coral shade. I look forward to using this when it gets warmer and into the summer. Oh, I think it would go well with this eye look too. But yes, those are the two um, limited edition Le Lyon lipsticks. I also ordered a uh, lip lac. The lip lac has a shimmery finish. It's really beautiful, but a bit sheer. So I thought this would be very pigmented and opaque. It is not. I have paired the lip black with this. So I applied this first and then top it with the lip black. It's beautiful. Really, really pretty. Just let me show you guys. You basically turn it into kind of like a metallic lipstick. So that is with the two layered together. Yeah, I really like that effect. Uh, many of these items by now do have their own dedicated video. So uh, if they do, I will have links below. You can go check them out. Um, and if I remember, I'll definitely put them up top too if you're interested. And then we have part of their spring makeup collection release this year is the Fleur de Printemps. This is a cheek and highlighter duo. Gorgeous. There is not one person who I saw on social media, YouTube, you know, anywhere, um, even viewers like yourself who've let me know, you love this. And this is what I have on my cheeks today. It's so beautiful. And so many people with different skin tones can use this and it will look beautiful on them. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna have a favorites video or January favorites, and this will likely be uh, at the top or very close to the top. Um, I am spending the next couple of days to try more of these items beyond just, you know, the first one or two tries and then we'll make the January favorites video. The next set of items that I have is from Dior. What I have here is their Spring Quint. This is Pink Sakura. It is beautiful. I would have put this on my eyes today if not for you know another quad I wanted to try. Um, this is beautiful. This is my favorite Dior Quint that I have. Um, they have two more that are to be released uh, also for spring. Um, and you know, I'm not sure I'm interested in one of them, one of the two, but I still think this is going to be my favorite for some time. In addition to the Quint, I also got four Dior lipsticks. They, uh, had a reformulation of their lipsticks and I guess released new finishes that they previously didn't have. From what I could tell, they didn't have a metallic finish, which with these, uh, new lipsticks they do. And I believe... Velvet Matte is also a new finish 
to their lipstick line for recent times at least. So we'll take a look at each of these. This is the lipstick in metallic finish and this is Tutu. So it's kind of perfect that I have Tutu right next to the lip black from Chanel and then the one where we combined the Chanel or Leon lipstick and the lip black on top. I, I think it's kind of right in between the lip black and then the combo because it has that ever soft metallic finish, but it is opaque, but not quite as um, concentrated, I guess, as having, you know, two different products on top of each other. But I do like Tutu, I think it's really beautiful. I'm very interested in a um, red lipstick with a metallic finish. It looks like it has gold flecks in them. I'm very interested in that. So we'll see about adding more uh, Dior lipsticks to my collection at some point. Um, then I have here, this is Mitza, and this is in a matte finish. This I think is really pretty, but of the four lipsticks that I got, it really didn't stand out to me as much. And you'll see what I mean, because the next thing I wanna show you is the red velvet matte. This is in the shade Icon. Stunning, stunning, beautiful. And I'll swatch it here too, so you might see the shade a little bit better as it would appear on your lips, but it's just got this drama to it. And it, it kind of just sucks in the light because of the finish, and it's got drama to it. I love it, I love it. Finally, for their satin finish, I did buy Pink Sakura. Pink Sakura as a shade for this lipstick is actually the same name as the Quint, but uh, you'll see in my video where I put these two together to create a look. Um, you know, in my opinion, I wouldn't be choosing this lipstick to go with this Quint, um, just because I think either a lipstick with like a deeper plum color goes better or something lighter than this. But this itself is a beautiful medium pink satin finish. It's really, really pretty. And there are plenty of looks that it would go with, um, just not necessarily with the quint of the same name, in my opinion. Then I have Beautylish's Lunar New Year brush. Year of the Ox has an oxen design and the design goes all the way around the brush handle, so beautiful. Um, I did cover this in my dedicated video for the brush, but um, the, I guess, technique used to create this design, it will not rub off, um, so you don't have to worry about it. I have last year's brush for Year of the Rat, and I've used it for an entire year plus. None of the design has come off at all. And these brushes are made using um, traditional Japanese techniques or fude techniques. Um, so there's a lot of cultural history in it. Uh, every single one, because it's handmade, is going to be a little bit different. Uh, for people who enjoy brushes, you guys, you guys know all about this. Um, for those who are not so familiar, you can consider each piece of these uh, as a work of art because the artisan who you know creates this have had years and years of experience um, and training on top of that to be qualified enough to create these brushes. And with the Lunar New Year brushes by Beautylish, they tend to be limited editions and limited quantities. As of now, unfortunately, they are sold out. If you are interested, I'll have a link below. You can go to their website and sign up so you get notified for next year when they have uh, their Lunar New Year brush. I assume that they're gonna have one next year too and that they would for as long as there's interest, I think they would complete the whole Chinese zodiac cycle of animals. There's 12 in total. Then I have ABH Iced Out Highlighter. Um, of the entire collection or the Iced Out collection, I only got the highlighter because I had heard it would be similar to Amrezi's highlighter, which was a collaboration with ABH. Um, the shade is obviously different from the Amrezi highlighter. Um, this is white and has a very uh, apparent gold reflex. And I would say it's more yellow than it is like a warm gold. So the way that I think of this highlighter is like frosty gold. Um, I like it a lot. I didn't think it would be, or it can be as complimentary as 
it was when I created the look with it. Uh, this is something I'm interested in wearing a couple more times, but here's some, here's another more concentrated swatch here. For reference, I have light to medium skin tone with neutral undertones, and I thought it worked for me. But I know some people have said, hey, the yellow is not gonna work, or it's just too, um, it's just too icy and it's gonna wash them out. So just something to be aware of, but I do enjoy this highlighter. Then I have a few things from ColourPop. ColourPop, I believe, announced these five pan palettes either at the beginning of this month or last month. And I asked on Instagram if you guys would be interested for me to get some of these palettes so I can compare them to Natasha Denona five pan palettes. Um, you know, we all recognize that the color story isn't gonna be exactly the same, but it certainly does have ND vibes. Um, so I did get two. There was one more that was sold out pretty quickly. I think it was called Lyric, that one. This one is Cherish and this one is Crush. And I thought Lyric really reminded me of uh, Natasha Denona's glam, mini glam palette. So I did manage to get that, but we can still do comparisons. Um, I will be creating a video to follow um, to play with these and Natasha Denona mini palettes. Along with my ColourPop order, I also, just for fun, got a Jelly Much Shadow in the shade She Grown. I do love a good one and done shadow. This is, it's a bright pink. It almost looks like rose gold in the pot, but it's really a bright pink and it's really, really pretty. Stays put on your eye all day. Uh, I did a video on that. I also got a freckle pen just for fun. Uh, haven't tried it yet. I did put it on my hand and it also just stays throughout the day, but I'd love to just have some fun, create a look and try to get like a, cute freckle look. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this pen is in soft brown. They have another one that is a maybe a medium brown or a deeper brown. Then I got one of Selena Gomez's Stay Vulnerable collection. This is the Melting Blush in Nearly Apricot. That's the shade name. Really pretty, really natural finish. And it feels so nice too. It feels really nice. It kind of goes from cream to powder. And now, just after I swatched it and I, you know, go once over, it's not emollient anymore. But it just stays really nice on your cheeks and it just has this really soft, glowy look. Um, it is a sheer application, which is right along with the line, you know, the concept of stay vulnerable, um, have yourself show through with the makeup. Yeah, really, really pretty. For these next set of items, I did not show them or talk about them in any videos so far. I will be making a video um, to kind of round up and look at my fairly new luxury lipstick collection. I kind of went ham with lipstick <laughs> after I was started on that path uh, last year. But I did recently get two um, Sisley Le Fito Rouge lipsticks. They come in these red pouches and then you've got the S here with this eye-catching animal print, zebra print would be my guess, and the name of the shades. I have two very bright shades, great for summer. This is in the shade 22 Rose Paris, and I'll swatch it on my hand. The formulation is supposed to be um, long-lasting hydration. I've worn it once and I felt very, you know, my lips felt pretty hydrated. And this is in the shade 30, Orange Ibiza. Definitely wanna wear it a few more times before I talk about them in a video. But I am excited for the lipstick video to come where we get to like play with all the lipsticks and look at them and compare them next to each other. Then we have the Natasha Denona Mini Love Story Collection. I did not get the Cheek Compact, uh, the duo that had a cream blush and the highlighter, but I did get her mini palette and the lipstick. I love this hot pink chrome packaging, so beautiful. And this is the first time I've tried her creamy matte formula. It's really great. I actually really, really like it. This mauve shade, 
has a bit of gray, has a bit of pink, and it smells like vanilla. It actually smells the same as Chantecaille's Lip Chic lipstick. Um, but in the lipstick video, we'll talk a bit more about that. It has the same scent. Oh, I love the packaging of this. We're getting to the last set of items. Um, this set of items is from Suku. It's part of their spring release. I have here 03 Hikari Gure, and this is what I have on my eyes today. I love it. Suku with their eyeshadows, they're known for their soft color payoff. So it's a, it's a, it's pigmented, but the pigment is soft. It always reminds me of like watercolor paintings, the way the colors just go on. The shadows are easy to work with and I am particularly drawn to this color story. I think it matches my skin tone, uh, which, is, which is why. And also I was looking for, um, you know, kind of like a fun fundamentals or like a common neutral type color story that was cooler rather than being more um, red brown based. There is another quad from the spring collection that is warmer. I wanted something cooler and I think this is beautiful. This gold is like, it's really subdued. It's really beautiful. You, you can put it all over your lids and it wouldn't be too much. Like that's kind of the magic of Suku, Suku's formula. And then the other quad that I got also from Suku is 05. Ake Kage. Look at this red and the gray browns. The red is probably the easiest red eyeshadow to work with. <laughs> Very easy to blend out. I mean, it's pigmented, but look how nicely it blends out. So it's easy to work with. And then this kind of gray brown, really gorgeous really gorgeous. I also, along with the Suku order, picked up one of their Comfort Lip Fogs, which has a matte finish, and that is what I have on my lips. I think it goes very well with the Hikari Gure color story. Before we move on here, the entire collection nearly was sold out when it was launched on Selfridges, but they've restocked it. So I would be posting this video for tomorrow. It, it would have been restocked like two days ago by the time you guys see this. If any of this catches your eye, I recommend hopping over and taking a look. Now, for some reason, I don't know why the navigation is kind of difficult, but if you just go to Selfridges website, whether um, on your computer or phone or through the app, and you search for Suku, you may or may not see these new quads. They have other quads that are permanent color stories and those are available, but you might not see the restocked ones and you might not see this new lipstick. So I will put the links below and that way for sure you'll get there if you click through there. Cause I know I was a little bit frustrated refreshing for the restock, waiting for that to come in. And sometimes, you know, if I had stopped, went to do something else and I came back, I lost my spot at times. Anyways, it was a little bit frustrating. Um, but I did place a second order for uh, some of the items I couldn't get the first time around. I did pick up one more quad and two of the blushes released for spring. Those are limited edition. And while I have tried Suku blushes, I haven't tried the ones that are in that single compact. So I'm really, really excited. When that all comes in, um, I'll be doing another video. So hopefully you guys do have an appetite for more Suku content. Hey, finally, we have a box of items that I got from Stalvana. Now, uh, this is ColourPop's box and I just needed a box to put all the items they had sent me. So Salvana approached me and asked if I was interested in reviewing some of their items. And after you know some discussion, they did send me a handful of skincare and makeup, which I am just so excited for all of it. I have been trying some of the skincare uh, the past couple of days, and I will be doing a dedicated video just to these items. Um, where I will be using the makeup for the first time to create a look because there is an eyeshadow palette. It's actually this here. And everything from the box is a rose theme. So we've got this eyeshadow palette. It's really cute. I see some mauves, maybe some taupe in there. <laughs> 
That's kind of my jam. Yeah, very excited. Um, I've been curious about Korean makeup and skincare. I've tried some Korean makeup and also skincare, notably face masks, and um, I've never been disappointed in anything uh, that I've tried and I just haven't tried enough to really have a very strong opinion. Uh, I know some of you guys really really love K-beauty and uh, really really enjoy uh, K-beauty or especially skincare, um, Korean skincare brands. So um, video to follow very very shortly here. Um, yeah, so far I'm liking everything that I have been trying, so we'll talk more about that very soon. The only set of items I didn't talk about in this video is Beautylish's XL Lucky Bag. If you are interested in seeing what I got in my Lucky Bag, I will share the link below, and if I haven't ran out of links to show above, I'll also um, include that there. But it was the first time getting a Lucky Bag, and overall I thought the experience was fun. I may try to go for another one next year. We'll see how challenging it is at that time and hopefully I'll be luckier next year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you are new to the channel, I hope you stick around, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and ring the bell to get notified every time new content is released. I hope you have a fantastic start to your weekend. See you soon. Bye.